I might be falling down, but I am taking my food with me. I have 23 steak. That's a really, really good start. Um, I've been thinking about playing the Ultra Hardcore mod. For those that don't know what that is, basically, there's no natural regeneration available in the game. And I have to be very careful. Oh, that was the sound of a Skype message. Oh. Oh. Careful, wolf. We'll give you a name if I can tame one of you. But in the meantime, I just have to be very, very careful not to hit you. See a mushroom. Not too concerned about the mushrooms since I have a lot of steak for food. And there's been so many cows and I'm actually wondering if they were placed here with the express intent of getting me to make armor. But right about now, I'm sure it feels a lot like I'm playing just a standard Minecraft map because I'm wandering through trees, unable to see anything. Let's do something about this. Oh, jeez. That's a pretty nice hill you got over there. But nothing stands out as of the current moment. Mostly wanted up on the trees so I could have a look around, but with this being designed as an exploration map, it's very hard to find stuff. But that hill looks very, very volcano y. Yeah, looks kind of like a volcano. Oh, interesting. I didn't hear any sound from falling down that. That's kind of disturbing. There's a lot of wolves here, but unfortunately I can't tame them, because I don't have any bones. My uh, second sword after combining is already almost broken. Food bar's down some. Looks like it's starting to become night again, which I've just been wandering around all willy-nilly killing... Killing a lot of things. Cows. Pigs. Chickens. Zomboids. Getting pushed by a dead sheep. Sheep? These things are now sheep. They're not cows, they are sheep. Sheep drop leather and steak. That'd be kind of confusing. But I want to get up this mountain. Because I feel as though there should be something at the top. Just because it stands out so much. But uh, before we do that... I still don't have any torches. I'm sure you know. I haven't seen any chests. I haven't really seen anything that sticks out, but I'm going to go up to the top of this hill, see what I can see. It's going to be a long, annoying journey on the way up, but with this being hardcore, there's no way I am skipping anything. So the last thing I want to do is stop recording and die, and have you guys miss it and just be like, yeah, I died. So I'm not going to do that. Coal. Beautiful, beautiful coal. Come to me, coal. Uh, torches. I'll just make a bunch of sticks. I'll end up making more torches for sure. Place the torches right there. I wonder if I'll find more coal somewhere on this hill. Oh, apparently you can't get in the bed but on the bed. I've never really tried to be honest. Alright, now before we go too much further, I want to make armor out of this leather, make a chest piece. Now I know it's more of a continental explorative type of map, but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that entails, and it sounds dangerous, but uh... We will figure out what's going on with that. I should have made some more swords while I was there. What is going on here? Plenty of coal upside of that hill, though. So I definitely have to go up it and collect as much coal as possible. Because with this being hardcore mode, I am going to light the hell out of everything. And for... I guess I forgot to give a warning. There will be swearing. Because... 
Well, for one, this is hardcore. It's probably going to cause me to want to swear, even if I was trying not to swear, so... There's really no point trying not to. Oh, I don't want to go down, I want to go up. I could always swim up this water, but... This being a Vex map, I do not trust it in the least. Of course, though, I don't know if he would have really taken the time to place traps designed to kill somebody on a map where the whole goal is not to die. I guess I guess you're supposed to be super secret careful. Sorry, super secret careful. Not just careful, super secret careful. But I have torches. Yes, I placed that coal right there. I'm going to need more coal for sure because I want to cook all of this steak and I have, uh, what is that, six coal worth I think? Yeah. If I had two more meat it'd be perfect. For those that don't know, six times eight is 48. One coal, eight cooks. But enough of that. Large patch of coal, good to go. Um, I'm not entirely sure what tools he uses to make these maps, but it's definitely very interesting, that's for sure. But, I want to know what kind of thought process goes through his mind and whenever he decides what to do on these. And I really should take a look at more of what a continental map is, because the closer to linear a map is, the more likely it is that you're going to find the wolves in a reasonable amount of time. And this isn't really a reasonable amount of time. This is more of a super hostile map designed like a standard Minecraft world. Speaking of which, there is a lot of coal here. Oh, there goes my torch. I knocked it down with my pick. There is so much coal here that it's unnecessary. And normally I have a shovel where that cobblestone is, so... Yeah. When this picks breaks, picks breaks, pick breaks. Oh, I just dug straight up like a retard. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make more swords because I'm going to need them. I don't know if digging down into the standard world would get me any iron because generally iron is designed to be more difficult to find, and it also raises its value whenever you find iron armor in chests. Uh, as for my gift warped playthrough, this is not going to replace it. This is going to be alongside it. Um, I wanted more things to do. Uh, for those that watch my standard Let's Play and are like, why haven't you really been doing any videos on that? To be honest, I've always been a bigger fan of these adventure-type maps, goal-oriented maps. Because standard Minecraft, I tend to lose... Let's just say my creativity goes down the toilet. I've got over a stack of coal, so I think I'm just going to stop with this. I'm going to head out. This is one serious mountain range. I realize this pick is like two hits from breaking. That's probably more than just a rough estimate. I do need to cook this steak. But I want to get to the top of this. Oh, there goes my pick. I'm probably just going to wait to put the sand back on my bar so I can climb up easier. That's disturbing. I don't like cobblestone. In case you were wondering what that texture is. Uh, but I do have videos up that show every single block of my texture pack. So if you're concerned about what any given block is, you can either ask me directly via the comments or you can go watch my texture pack video. But, uh, that's enough of that. I really... Well, I'm even out of sand. There's definitely snow up there. I got coal, so I'm just gonna convert this all into wood. I'm not gonna use it to climb, though. Pop down a workbench. Uh, I'm not gonna make any more torches at this very moment gonna make a bunch of swords since I'm apparently going through them pretty quickly. Make a new pick. Make a shovel. So much for the bunch of swords, huh? Well, I suppose I can still make uh, four of them. Like so. 
combine a sword with that one later. Uh, it's close enough to the top. I'll make a furnace to cook all this uh, meat. And I'll explore up further. I'll just throw that all in there at the moment. Mm, I do not want to eat spider eyes. I'll eat the raw pork chops. I don't have many of those, so I'll just uh, eat those. Those should hopefully... Yeah, those should fill me up. And I will explore the top. Place a torch so I know where that's at. And I will continue onwards and upwards. Hopefully there is interesting things up here. Oh, these are actual snow blocks. Hmm. Wonder if I will get pumpkins at some point. Ooh. What is going on here? I. Ooh. Ooh. I don't quite understand. What is going on here? Oh. It's not pushing me. I don't quite know where this gravel goes. And that also kind of worries me. Whoa. Uh, I'm just going to assume this entire thing... Whoa. What? Are you trying to pull here? Where is this water source? I bet it's like right in front of me. Whoa. Not entirely sure how I was drowning right there, but whatever. Probably should use something a bit more amazing. I don't know what's going on here with this whole thing, to be honest. Of course, though, I also don't quite know where all this wool came from. I'm guessing it's from the, uh, the sheep that were killed by the wolves. But I don't see anything up here. Let me go back down here. I see all that water pouring out of those, and it's all going down into the center, but I don't know what that's all about. I'm guessing it's just decoration. There's no specific reason for it, but it's still just kind of odd. I got all this random stuff on me that I do not want, and I'm just throwing it at my feet. Throw it right off the mountain. Get rid of that last piece of that. And I guess I don't really need those anymore. A bit of inventory clearing going on there. Pick this up. Really wish this fat furnace would cook faster. I really don't know how to find things, though, using the continental map set up. It's very strange, very foreign. I didn't read too much into it. Would have been nice if you designed roads or something to direct me where I'm supposed to go. I know it's about exploring, but but what is that up there at the top of that hill? Do you see that? The better question is, is it going to be reasonably easy to get to the top of that? It looks, it looks like it's lit up too. And then, being here at the top of the world, things are all kind of screwy. Got a torch down, so I'm just going to sleep right here next to that. Get rid of the night. Oh. Give me my torch back. Uh, I think we're just going to not worry about the rest of this at the moment. 27 cooked should be enough for now. We're going to try to get down this without sustaining too much fall damage. 
which also means I need to not be in a hurry, because I could very well kill myself falling down this if I'm not careful. Uh, I kind of want to see what's going on with the water sources here. There's just coal in there, there's no actual bottom to that. But I can very easily ride this water down to the next mountain, so that's nice. It will probably drain my food because I'm in water, but it's a lot better than trying to just carefully jump down. What is going on here? Is anything specific? doesn't appear so it just appears to be decorative dirt I don't know this whole thing like I said it's very confusing I don't know what's quite going on with it so I am I'm not doing anything very exciting to be honest but there's always a potential of death at any given time so I'm just gonna keep going even with the boring stuff try and keep it interesting with bad commentary I don't necessarily have self-esteem issues, by the way. I always just assume that if I believe that I'm doing bad, I can always want to try to do better. Some people would consider that a horrible philosophy. You know what? Maybe. It all depends on the person. But I'm not going to get into a philosophical debate with people about what's a good or a bad idea. It's just the way I do things, and getting up this mountain is going to take quite a bit of effort. I'm going to end up with quite a bit of cobblestone. I'll actually be able to start just building my way up. And I'm not exactly doing this in the most efficient way possible. I'm absolutely sure of that. But, uh, it's all good. At least I think so. I guess I'll have to wait for some more opinions on uh, the whole is it good scenario. Hitting into actual more cobblestone. I'm actually kind of worried now that I'm going to hit one of these and then there's just going to be a mountain of silverfish. Like, literally, a mountain of silverfish. I now want to make one. Maybe I just. M maybe Vex will watch this and he'll come up with a good idea for an elaborate trap in a future uh, map. That'd be really cool. I wonder if he uh, put another death stick like I had in Gift Warped. Oh, get towards the top, that's always a good sign. Snow means top, obviously. Got up here a lot faster than I thought I would, so... I don't know, maybe I was entertaining myself with my commentary. Is this a fleecy box? Well, holy crap. We have dark green wool, guys. Dark green wool. We're going to take one with us because, well, because we're going to very dangerously oh, go down this hill. Oh, all I got to do is make sure I don't fall to my death. I'm okay with taking a little bit of fall damage. It's not hurting my armor at all, so that's fine and dandy with me. In case you're wondering, I do keep on checking my armors to make sure I'm not a complete idiot and that I actually do take damage to armor from falling. Oh. Okay. I'm not retarded. I probably am retarded, but... Ow. I knew that one was going to hurt. Oh. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going the right way anymore. This might actually be the direction I came into it from. I suppose I will find out. This does look very, very similar, but then this whole map... Mm, I went at the right one first. Which was left... Uh, on the other viewports, so... There's wolves over here on this side, too, so it's all just very confusing. But there is cows that are alive, so I have not been here. And that is how I've determined which direction I have not already been. Oh. 
Okay. One thing that I'm sure you noticed that I'm not doing that I am going to need to do in the future if I wish to survive this entire scenario. This. Blocking. It's something I don't do very often. A lot of people don't do it very often, but I'm going to need to get into the habit of doing it.